In today's video, I'm going to be installing Atlas OS on my low-end laptop. If you guys have been following this series on my channel, I've basically got my mum's 10-year-old laptop, and I'm going to be trying to optimize it and try and get Minecraft playable on the system. In this video, we're going to be installing Atlas OS. I've done a video on this before, so if you guys want to check that out, then I'll leave a card on screen right now. But yeah, it's basically a stripped-down version of Windows with no background processes, no pre-installed apps, so it runs really well on low-end systems that don't have the best processors and takes up far less resources. If you guys are new around here, make sure to leave a like on this video and subscribe down below. We're going to be doing a Minecraft test on there with both vanilla and Optifine, and I might even get Lunar Client working. We'll see. So, without further ado, let's get into the video. All right, guys, so to get Atlas OS, we need to go to their website as normal. So, it'll be interesting to see how it runs on an actual low end system and what kind of FPS we get here. So they've got a new updated website with all of its features and all of the stuff that it does and all of the things that include straight out of the box, all the statistics, all that good stuff. So yeah, we just go to downloads. I'm going to go ahead and get the latest version and uh, yeah, we'll see how it runs on our laptop. All right, so I've just downloaded the ISO here. I'm just going to go ahead and drag that to my desktop. It's been a while since I've actually been on my main computer, but yeah, let's go ahead and open up Rufus. I've just gone ahead and open up Rufus here. You are going to need a USB stick. I've got a blank 16 gigabyte one lying around. So yeah, you just select your ISO. There we go, that's all selected. And we're gonna probably make it MBR because I'm pretty sure my laptop does not support UEFI. Once that's all done, just press start. That just means all the things on your USB are gonna be erased. So make sure you guys back up all of the stuff that's on your USB. But yeah, it's pretty quick. And I'll be back once it's finished installing on the USB. All right, that's all finished. So then just unplug your USB and uh, yeah, just plug it into your computer of choice. So I'm just gonna go ahead and plug it into my low end laptop. And yeah, let's get switched over to my capture card. Turn on the laptop and uh, yeah, make sure you press the boot options key, which is normally F12 in most laptops, but it will come up and tell you. So I'm just gonna boot off my USB. All right, so finally, I've got Atlas OS set up and running on my laptop. So yeah, this took quite a while. So after I did the install, I needed loads of drivers basically, not only to get my capture card to work, but for internet and everything like that. So what I did was luckily I was able to plug in my ethernet cable into the computer, get internet that way. And then I literally just went on Firefox, which I installed, first thing I installed. So I literally, I just typed in Dell Inspiron 1564 drivers. But yeah, I just went to the first one and luckily Dell have got a good support page here. So I just went through and downloaded all the necessary drivers for my internet and my video driver. So if you know the model and make of your laptop, just a quick little search should get you to a site similar to this where you can just install all your drivers. However, if you're unsure, what you can do is you can go to this little Atlas folder here, which comes pre-installed on all Atlas OS uh, installations. And then what you can do is you can go to drivers and there's a really, really handy tool here called Snappy Driver Installer. So once you've downloaded that, what you can do is you can go and open it up. And this is what it looks like. So basically what it does is it scans your system for drivers. So for example, I've got one here that requires a driver. And then, yeah, you basically just click here to start the downloading of the driver packs. Once it's found it all, just press install here. And yeah, it's really simple because the reason we can't get Windows updates on this is because they're just straight up disabled. If I go here to Windows update, as you can see here, they're just turned off. But I'm guessing to keep the file size down and to keep all the background processes down, they've disabled that. So yeah, we've got no other choice but to use Snappy Driver Installer. It's really good. I'd highly recommend checking it out. And uh, yeah, it's a must if you install one of these custom operating systems that don't have Windows update as standard. Anyway, let's go ahead and have a look at Atlas. As you can see here, we've got hardly any pre-installed apps. We just got all the kind of essential stuff you need, really. It comes bundled with Internet Explorer, which is not ideal. So yeah, just go on there, download Firefox or Chrome or whatever you use. I've gone ahead and installed Java. It also comes with the Microsoft Store and the Xbox app and Xbox Game Bar, which is quite interesting. I'm guessing they've made this uh, operating system for gamers, so you probably will need these applications. If not, I'm sure you can get rid of them. So yeah, without all out of the way, I've gone ahead and have installed Minecraft on this thing. 
So let's go ahead and run Minecraft and see how much FPS we get. All right, so the first test we're going to do is just a vanilla 1.8.9 installation. I'm sure you guys know how this goes now. I'm going to install vanilla 1.8.9, then we'll try Optifine. And then possibly, if it will run, we'll try and run Lunar Client on this laptop. All right, here we are. Complete vanilla install of 1.8.9. Let's go ahead and create a single player creative world here. And let's see how much FPS we get. All right, here we go. We've loaded in. Right, FPS test. Ooh. <laughs> 8 FPS. I like it. It's good. It's, it's really not. This is pretty unplayable. But it's worth bearing in mind that this is vanilla and all the settings have been reset. So all of our past videos we've been going through and trying to find all our good Optifine settings, they've all been reset. So we've got to turn them all back, which is quite annoying. Right, so I've just turned down some settings here and we're still oh, a little bit better. I mean, we got about 10 FPS there. We're getting about 20 now. So it's not too bad. Let's try and go in full screen. Okay, this feels a lot smoother now. Okay, we're getting about 50 FPS. I mean, yeah, it is a pretty um, hard biome. I mean, look, we've got all these hills and stuff here. It's not actually too bad now that we've gone into full screen. And uh, if I show you guys the task manager, because I'm sure a lot of you guys are last. As you can see, there's hardly any background processes, guys. So we've got Minecraft here, and obviously Java taking up most of our resources right now. But the background processes, we've only got 22. And these are all like essential ones like we need these we've got a couple of windows processes but yeah definitely a lot better than a standard install of windows 10. if we go to performance here as you can see we're not using that much ram and we're up we've got minecraft open so this is really good for an old system like this to see these kind of numbers obviously yeah we kind of saw something similar with windows toolbox but we all know how that went <laughs> if you guys haven't seen that video i'll leave that on screen now Right, you know the drill. Let's go ahead and install Optifine now. See how much FPS we get now with Optifine. Right, guys, so I've just loaded up Optifine. Let's throw up our FPS. And boom, look at that, 49 FPS. It's still fluctuating a little bit, but it definitely feels a lot smoother to play now. Wow, this is pretty good. And we haven't even touched many of the settings yet. So let's go into here. Yeah. So I'm going to try V-Sync. A lot of people say that it's a lot smoother. So I might try that on a system like this. Let's go to our details. Turn off the sky. Turn off the fog. Turn off all of this. Turn all our animations off apart from flames and potions. We're also going to show our FPS as well. So you guys don't rage at me in the comments that I decrease my FPS by using the debug menu. So yeah, here we go. That's all up. And uh, yeah, our FPS is a little bit smoother now. It's definitely a little bit more playable than it was. I think before, the best we got was about 30 FPS at most. And bear in mind, we've still got V-Sync on. So if we uh, put our frame rate on unlimited, 67. Wow, that's like the highest I've seen this laptop get. Okay, we're kind of approaching a big hill here. So there's a bit of uh, rendering in to do. But yeah, this laptop's a little tank. This can, this is getting better. So in single player here, we're averaging about 50 to 60 FPS. It does drop a little bit if I've got to render in something. So for example, if I go over here, an area I haven't been, it renders, it goes to about 30 FPS. But once we've kind of loaded it in, it's pretty playable at about six. Oh, wow, we've got 100. Wow, <laughs> oh, that's like the highest I've seen this laptop get. Wow, we're doing good things with this laptop. All right, guys, so the big test now is a Hypixel Dual on this laptop. Now, Hypixel Dual maps are mainly quite flat, so we could get lucky here as long as we go against someone who's quite bad, which this guy, I don't know what he's doing, so we might be able to beat him here on the low-end laptop. Come on, what's he doing? Has this guy even hit me yet? Hey, GG. So yeah, our FPS is quite good. I did notice a couple of lag spikes, which you guys might feel in the video. It just kind of just slows down for some reason. And I think it's when it loads in chunks, which is quite annoying. So for example, right here, we just dropped to 20 because of loading in the map. It's not ideal. And mid fight is probably not something you'd want. But once you've loaded in all the map, it seems to be okay. This guy's AFK. 
Sorry, I'm going to have to get you. No, don't run away. Give him the stray. GG. I'm going to try and put V... Oh, we're on V-Sync. Let's try Unlimited. See if that makes a difference. Okay, Unlimited's fluctuating. One minute we're getting 8. Next minute we're getting 50. This guy's got particles, which I'm pretty sure I disabled. I don't know why I can still see them. Yeah, that... <laughs> we're going back to V-Sync, I think. Oh my god, it's actually working. Come on. You can do it. No way. We've got Lunar Climb working on the low-end laptop. Let's go. And here we are, guys. We are running Lunar Client on the low-end laptop. It never used to run before. It always crash or come up with some kind of error. But this is really impressive. We've now got the lazy chunk loading. So we've got no more glitches or anything. And we're getting a solid 50 to 60, 40 sometimes. Really good. Go ahead and turn off some of the mods here that we don't need. And yeah, I'm running pretty much stock settings. If you guys have got any suggestions on what Lunar Client settings are good for FPS, definitely let me know in the comment section down below. But so far, it's pretty smooth on single player. Let's try it on Hypixel. So yeah, let's join Hypixel and see what FPS we get now with Lunar Client on. So, <laughs> straight down to 4 FPS. It's looking pretty promising in my single player world, but not quite as good once we've got on Hypixel here. There's just so many big builds and stuff, it really does put a lot of stress on the computer. Even with our lazy chunk loading, it's uh, it's a little bit better. Yeah, it's, it's very fluctuating. Right, so I've just joined a duel with Lunar Client, and it seems a little bit worse actually than Optifine. The FPS is... Uh, not the best. It's a little bit laggy at first, but we've actually got it. It's actually smooth now. Can we win this duel? I think this guy's got the block hit glitch or something. GG. Give us a couple more videos and we should be able to run at a constant 100. With you guys' help, obviously. But in Hypixel duels, we've got a Lunar Client. We've got a custom Windows OS with no background processes. Anyway, that's going to be the video, guys. I hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Make sure to check out Atlas OS. Make sure you guys know what you're doing. That is the key thing here. But yeah, I'm going to continue on with this series, trying to get this laptop playable and uh, actually be able to do Minecraft on it. So let's see what else we can get and see if we can improve it some more. The series will continue. So yeah, thank you guys all for watching and I will see you in my next video. Peace.